All right, thanks for downloading the template. I'm gonna take you through all the layers and how you edit this template to uh, make it to your needs. Uh, starting at the bottom, um, we just have this textured background here, the paper texture on top of that, rectangles. These are this in the corners, there's just kind of a light shade uh, up here and then around here and up here. Again, if any of these you don't like, obviously turn them off or adjust to your liking. Uh, next up, we have reflection. This is what this is reflecting down on. You don't need to do anything with this. This will update automatically with the smart object. So, but we will go into this back right here. It's labeled back. That's this back image smart object. And it has all the name, number, team name, and this image right here. So if you double click right here on the smart object, it will open it up. And then inside this, we have the text, the number logo area, and then another smart object. So this is another layer. And we'll do this first. We'll double click on this again, and this will open it up. And I have this as a, uh, a guide, this silhouette, to where I put mine. But obviously, it's your thing. Do what you want. I do like to cut mine out and put them on this white gradient. I think it matches the theme nice. But if you want to drop in a full image that's not cut out, or however you want to do it, go for it. Uh, so I'll pull in my image now. I'll scale it up. Now I want there. I'll get rid of this background silhouette. You'll save this. So Command S on a Mac or go up to File and Save. And then that's just this one step. That'll update this smart object right here. Um, how I have this set up is I do have this hue saturation adjustment layer that turns on the saturation and adds brightness to it. If you want your image to be black and white, leave this on. If you want it to be color, you just flip that off. Next up, we have the name. So we'll type in the name here, which is names Eric Williams. And then down here, team name. So I'm going to put there. So you can put position, anything you want there, senior, how, however you want to do it. It just gives you a couple options for some text. Uh, this texture layer is clipped to, to all this to give it a little, uh, little texture. And then we have the logo or number here. So that's a smart object as well. So if we double click on that, it opens us up. So he is number seven, but I think on this one, you just type this in here and whatever font you want and center it. I'm going to go back, put double zeros there and turn it off. This font is called Teko, T-E-K-O. It's a free font, so it won't show up if you make an adjustment on it. You'll have to download it, but use any font you want. Um, also, I put this as a here as a reminder. You can put a logo here, and that's what I'm going to do for this one. And I'm going to just pull in their logo. I'm going to center it on here how I want it. And then we'll save this. So Command S on a Mac or File Save. Close this out and then this puts this right here. And the reason that's a smart object, it has this drop shadow kind of on it to separate it from the background. So once this is done, we have to save this to get it to update on our template. So we'll hit Command S. Once that saves, and updates a smart object. We'll go back over here. And as you can see, this has updated. And then the reflection down here has updated too with the same with the same image in here. All right, so as we work our way up, uh, this also has kind of a, I put a layer mask on here that kind of make, gives it a little bit more of a grungy look. If you don't like it or you need to adjust it, you can right click on this and disable the layer mask and that'll turn it off or you can add more or less what you want. Same thing with this white texture. And then next up, we got the last name. This is a smart object as well because it's slanting it backwards and has the, the drop shadows on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to double click to open it up and then just double click on the text. And I think I'm going to go with the lowercase look for this one kind of been on that so again use whatever text you want uh, 
another thing to do is if you want to change the gradient inside of here, you would double click on this gradient overlay. So if this wasn't in the color palette, which just happens to be for th this team, you would double click on that. Then you'd open your gradient, double click on that. And then by clicking on these little squares right here, double click, then you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. And you can see as it updates over here. Um, but this happens to be correct for me, so I'm gonna leave it. And then you can you can do each one of these, and that'll be the left side, middle, right side. I typically like to have it how I have it set up here, where it's a little darker on the edges, a little lighter to give it that rounded look. So we'll cancel out of there. If you want to change the stroke, which is the this gold, which again has worked out nicely because this is what I need but you double click on that same thing I have a gradient on it and then that's probably about all you need to change if you don't like the shadow or anything else you can turn them off here so i have these guidelines over here that's kind of where i'd like to put the wording the bottom of it so because that's the seam on the front so if you have something in a lower case and it runs over like a p uh, it gives it some room it doesn't get a call, cut off by the smart object but also this one down here, it's probably all the lower you want it to go because that's about where the floor is. So you either need to adjust your, the size of your font or move it around from there. So we'll save that, Command S. We'll go back to this main and you can see it's been updated. We're gonna skip over shadow for now, that's the player shadow. Uh, we have the grain, that's kind of putting a grain on everything, including the shadow. Next up we have our front image. And this is just kind of a placeholder of the size I like to put in here. Um, I'll pull in this image. We'll scale it up to how we want it. Looks good. I have a camera raw filter on here that just a little bit of clarity and makes the image pop a little bit of how my images are set up. If you adjust yours once and you have a big shoot, you can save that that camera raw filter and you just hold down option click on the camera raw filter and then drop it on this image and it'll update that image so it's subtle but however however your images are if there's any tweaks that's a quick way to do it all right and then next up we have this side light it is just a little glow coming from the uh the edge over here it's pretty subtle if you don't like it turn it off if you want to change the the hue or anything like that if you hit command u on it it'll bring up this box and you can change the saturation and lightness up there and then if you click go down to colorize if you want to make it a certain color green or yellow or whatever you want to be you can do that same thing with this light leak it's up here in the corner you can kind of see what subtle it's doing if you want more of the standard or the clean look, by all means, turn it off. I'll leave it on. Lock that one back. All right. So we're basically done now. All we have to do is add the shadow. So I'm going to go back down to the shadow layer. I'm going to add a new layer. Delete that one out. Add in my shadows. And there you have it. Now all you have to do is save as a JPEG and you're uh, off to the races with your poster. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.